<laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Anthony and welcome back to Let's Play Mafia 2. I think we're on episode 16 at the moment and welcome to the 1950s. Whoa. 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 So we gotta go to Joe's apartment, because I'm pretty sure pretty sure Joe hasn't moved in the six years we've been in prison, so. Oh sweet, now they're talking about the Cold War. What's better than the Cold War? The warm war over tacos or something. Why is the game running at 5 FPS? Uh, honestly, I have no idea why it was just running at 5 FPS. Because there's no footage in my recycling bin that I forgot to delete. Nothing like that. So, very curious. But the war over tacos, it is indeed much better than the Cold War. The Cold War was just like a war over blankets and stuff, which was kind of boring. Hello, whoever you are with your stupid haircut. You think that Joe, after working with the Mafia for six years, might be able to afford a better place than this? Because this place is still pretty awful. It's, really, it's not really surprising that it's awful. Because it's like in the middle of this city that no one's ever heard of. Vito! Hey, you break out of jail? Ah, oh, jeez. Good to see you in regular clothes and on the right side of the bars again. Welcome home. Come on in, come in, come in. Man, I tell you, lots changed since I went away. Yeah, I guess it has. And hey, it ain't much, but I hooked you up with a nice little apartment, just like you Thanks. said. Now I got a surprise for you. We're going out tonight to celebrate, and I'm going to introduce you to somebody. Yeah, sounds good to me. You're going to need a little cash so you can get things going again. I got a piece for you, too, if you want it. Ah, here. Always comes in handy. So, uh, what do you want to do now that you're a free man? Hey, what do you think? I want to go back to working with you again. All right. I was worried they might have turned you straight nah. in there. <laughs> I actually met a lot of people and learned a lot while I was on the inside. I had a much better idea about things working out. Good thing, because I wasn't exactly sitting around on my ass while you was in there. Don't worry, though. I'll show you the ropes, like always. All right, well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Jesus, I didn't expect you to be raring to go like this, but what the hell? Come on, let's go see your new place. Oh, it's going to be so <laughs> great. We'll take my car and go meet your new landlord. You do the driving so you can get back into the swing of things. Just ah, hope the you swings. didn't forget how to drive while you was in the can. Oh, that's hey, just why. What are you worried about? It's like riding a bicycle. Sure, but when you smack up your bicycle, it don't cost a fortune to fix the friggin' thing. All right, all right, I get it. You're like an old lady. Yeah. Well, if you had like, a sure really expensive so. bike, all of mine. And if you ain't noticed, bicycle. cars are a lot different since you went away. You'll see. Your new place is just down the street, right near the boardwalk. You're gonna love it. Awesome. The boardwalk. Is it? Is my Damn, apartment going to be better than his? I've done pretty good while That'd you was locked up. Now that you're out, the sky's the limit. You seen Henry lately? Nah, not for a few years. So wait, now. so the sky is the limit. Why can't we go to space? What, so what you been up to? Well, we can. We can like talk about much when we visit for 20 years. Well, after the shit Clemente and that little asshole oh, Luca just under 20 years. I just missed my turn. I got hooked up with the Falcone family and I started working for them. Really? Yeah, you'll see tonight. I told you I got a nice surprise plan for you. But don't bother asking because I ain't gonna tell you. Oh boy. Don't worry. I've been planning this for weeks. That's what I'm afraid of. Hey, you just went through a red light. Yeah, whatever. It's just a red light. It's fine. There's no cops around, so it's fine. Just don't complain, Joe. Just don't complain. We've shot several people. Don't complain about going through a red light, okay? Just don't. So where is my apartment? Oh, gonna miss my turn. There we go. Hello, police officer, man. Uh, map. Where is it? Oh, it's over there. Hmm. It's not like snowy anywhere or anymore, so there's not gonna be any awful driving conditions like we used to have back in those 40s, you know. Anything else on the radio? Oh uh, nope. Oh, oh god! Oh, kind of surprised he didn't smash into you. I I I love All you. Right, this is close enough to park here. Go check the place out. It's on the top floor. I already paid the first month's rent for you. And hey, the entrance to your garage is on that side street over there. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate it. Hey, and about tonight, we're going to a real classy joint. So buy yourself a nice suit. They won't let you in this place look like an ex-con. My kind of place. I, I, thank God, I, for, I, I forgot to get a suit last time, so it's, it's going to be great to have a suit. 
Because you always look more professional killing people in a suit, especially when you're in the Mafia. Like, come on. You kind of need a suit. It's okay, kind of a requirement. here we are. I'm sure you'll find it to your liking. I live in a similar apartment myself. As you can see, it even comes with a telephone at no extra charge. Whoa! It's such a steal. And here's the bathroom, clean and modern, with all the hot water you could ever want. Nice. All of the hot water. And here is the master bedroom. And there is the master's bed. That's the most it's comfy, with room enough for two, maybe three. And it doesn't It's like squeak. six mini all mattresses all tied together. Mind. Just like six tiny mattresses. They're like... I sure hope you like your new apartment, sir. I want a new bed. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just one question. When are you leaving? Now, if you'll pardon me, I have to go and check out another client. Goodbye now. Yeah, see you. Can I get an actual bed? I want a bed. Not three mini, not six mini mattresses. It's not a bed. That's like a terrible bed. It's not even a bed. It'd be so uncomfortable to sleep on. Like, so uncomfortable. Anyway, where's the door? That's the door. Hey, Joey, I'm still in your car. Unless you drive, drove away. Oh, you drove away. Nice. There's the policeman over there. So, if I pick the lock, will he notice? I think he will, but, um... Oh, okay. What's... Oh, I forgot the controls. That. That. What, what just happened? What just happened? What's going on? Ah, damn it. Uh, I'm just trying to steal this guy's car. Can you stop honking at me for a sec? There we go. Shut up with your extra extra. You're not even a little kid. No one's gonna buy newspaper off of you. The, the, that rocket. Hey, get out the, off the street. I like how it's just randomly dropping like two FPS at random. Okay, welcome back. I don't know why it was being like super framey earlier, but I think I may have fixed a problem. So, is there any cops? Oh, there's a cop right there. Hey. Officer, how are you? I'm just gonna go over here and try to take one of these cars so you don't see me. This car looks nice. Well, that was actually, I hold, held down the wrong button, but whatever, I still got a car. Let's go. Yeah, uh, there's a cop car. There's a cop car. Oh, okay, he, he just passed me. Okay. They are none the wiser until somebody calls the police to report this car stolen, but um, until that moment, we've gotten away scot free. What an odd saying, Scott Free. I don't. Great Scots, we're free. Oh, the, the, the suit store's right there. Let's get us a fancy suit, Vito. We need a fancy, fancy suit. The most fancy suit that you have. Get out of the way. Hey. Hey, hey, stop driving so poorly, guy in the weird box. There. Excellent! That's a great parking job. Oh, uh, what's this? Stiff tin apparel. Do you have an excellent suit for me to wear? Where do I go? Browse the I store. I think you'll find the quality is well worth the price. Uh, casual suit. I want. I want like a business suit. I don't really. You know, fine. I guess I'll take it in black. Anything else I can do for you? See, that was some. That's something a mafia member would wear. It's very, very inconspicuous. No one, no one will know. It's only six six dollars too, so it's pretty cheap. It's a pretty cheap suit. It's a very nice cheap suit too. Okay, everybody, get away from the vehicle. Get away from. Oh, that person must have left their car or something. That's not nice. Leaving your car on the sidewalk. People are gonna walk into it, or someone's gonna steal it eventually. Okay, so how far is this place? That's not that far. It's just like Joe's old place, or he's supposed to go back to Joe's, I guess. And then he's gonna drive us somewhere. There's another police officer on the highway up there. Okay, we're back at Joe's. Joe, are you gonna take us somewhere? Why did you not just wait at my house if, I'm, if you're gonna drive me to wherever we're going? Of a hit -and -run hey, I didn't hit or run. I kind of okay. Yeah, I hit and I kind of ran 
But it wasn't a hit and run. You're, you, this is just a great big misunderstanding. Well, you ladies should be careful next time. Don't stand in front of benches, or stand on, sit on benches. That are in front of vehicles, moving vehicles. It's very unsafe. Joe, where are you? You're already upstairs in your house. Why would you not just wait for me at your place? Or my place? A drunk guy right there. Ah ha ha. Okay. J. Bernardo. Wait, wait, what's his name? Bar Barnabro? I don't actually know. Jeez, I thought you was going to be a no show. Not bad. Nice material. Not bad. Thanks. No, I, I was gone for, what, so, uh, 10 what's minutes? What's the plan for tonight? You'll find out. Like, come on. I wasn't even gone long. A friend of mine's coming to pick us up. I met him when you was on your little vacation. And show him some respect. I had a He's wonderful kind of vacation. An guy. Oh, yeah? You'll see in a minute. Here he comes. Hey, Joe. Hey, Ed. <laughs>